Hey everybody, welcome back. So today is Sunday, November 25th, uh, just um, just after Thanksgiving. So we're getting ready for the season. Trails are gonna be opening up on December 15th. Took the uh, XDR out for a little spin about a week ago. You guys, hopefully you saw that. If not, go ahead and check it out. Uh, just doing some odds and ends on the axis and the, uh, the switchback to get those ready. Mainly uh, just chain case fluid, odds and ends and stuff like that. But uh, happy to say that the trailer is all set so went up to new hampshire about three weeks ago and uh got the clamshell installed so the uh clamshell was installed by a company called docking systems they also uh go by the name called sled dock um chances are if you're in the northeast and you have a clamshell on your, on your trailer more than likely it was made by the company called sled dock so what's nice about this clamshell uh as you can see it's got the double bump on it uh, to allow for the uh, the newer sleds with the, with the higher windshields and everything else. So everything fits in there nicely. You don't have to worry about interference when you're opening anything up. So what we'll do is let's go ahead and open up the trailer. So there you go, sled dock. Alright, so there you go, typical clamshell. So again, this is a 10 foot trailer, 10 by uh, 101. It's got the hydraulic lift supports. Also has the uh, the auxiliary lighting that just basically taps into the uh, your trailer lighting. Um, so there's a floodlight, so you can turn on uh, when you're in, when you're doing a load at night, so you can see what's going on. And then as far as the wiring, basically all we did is we drilled a hole through the deck and basically uh, tied it into one of the marker lights and uh, so that's how we're getting lighting into the trailer. So works pretty well. Um, I had everything loaded up in here right before Thanksgiving. I had the, uh, the switch back and the axis in here and took a Jeep out and uh, Jeep did pretty well. There will actually be a, a separate video on uh, the performance of the Jeep and that setup uh, coming up right in the next couple weeks. Um, when I finished everything up, it started to rain, so I basically unloaded the trailer and, and everything else, so I didn't get a chance to uh, make a video regarding the performance of the Jeep and everything else. So, but yeah, I'm very happy with it. So, there will be a link in the description as far as where you can go get one uh, for yourself if you're looking for one of these. So, standard access door. What's nice about it? is there's a little cover on it so basically keeps all the uh, elements out of it and what we'll do we'll close it so show you another feature regarding the trailer so one nice feature that this trailer has as far as a clamshell is it has this little apron in the front and what it does is when you're trailering um, it prevents any salt slush rain whatever coming in through the front that leading edge of the trailer so you have to worry about that and it's got the standard um, rain rails I guess from whatever you call them or slush rails so it prevents any water or anything like that that's coming down from the side of the, side of the trailer to uh, prevent it from going inside the trailer from keeping it uh, wet so but yeah and it's vented that top so so during the summer it'll, it'll be allowed to vent for any uh, hot air that's building up so all right hope you guys like it there will be another video regarding the uh, the setup on the Jeep and we'll go from there hope everybody's having a great day and getting ready for the season talk to you later see ya